In this video, we will learn how to create pricing section using HTML and CSS. So hey, what's up guys, welcome to Fine Gap YouTube channel and in today's video, we are going to learn how you can create this type of card and these type of hover buttons and we will create our popular package in a, this type of purple color. So friends, video is going to be more important and before start, I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos without any delay let's start so friends here you can see that i have a folder on my desktop and i have opened this in my visual studio code first of all create a file in index.html and create a second file tile.css next i will click on go live so you can see the output on a live server first of all create a basic html structure here and type pricing section design Next, link the style.css file with your HTML code. In your body element, create a div with class wrapper and create another div with class card. So this is the container for our each card. And in our first card, we have to create an H3 element. Type here intro, create another H1 element. So type here like some amount like $19, a span element and forward slash month next create a p element here and here i will type some dummy text i have to zoom out my web page to 100 percent or i can change it to 125 percent so here you can see that i have a dummy text in my paragraph element and next create an unordered list with some list items so i will type here all limited links so now i'm going to insert some dummy text inside my these list items next here we want to display a tick icon so i'm going to use font awesome icon first of all we need to add the cdn of font awesome icon so open the google and type here font awesome cdn click the first link and here click on copy link tag paste this link in your head section of your website and next to see the font awesome library you can search here font awesome icons click on the first link and suppose if i will search here for check icon so you can see that it is displaying me the available icons so i will click on this square check click on this i element to copy this html code and paste this here so you can see a check icon here similarly i will paste this icon in the remaining list items and in the last i have to create an a element with some text like choose plan so this was the html code for our card next we have to design this using css and later we just have to copy this code to create our remaining cards so first of all i will design this to design open the style.css type here star which is a universal selector padding zero margin zero and box sizing border box so i'm going to use a google font here but sans serif font is also available in my browser so i just type here a property font family sans serif you can also use google fonts to make your these text more beautiful next copy this body element paste this element here and type a background color i have choose this color code display flex justify content center and align item center and minimum height 100 vh so this these four lines will align our content exactly at the center position of our screen next copy this card element and paste here so now you can see that these are the first card is on the top and the second card is on the bottom to display them in the same row i have to copy this wrapper class and paste here and type display flex justify content center and align item center and color rgba 0, 0, 0, and opacity would be 0 0.7 so it is a light black color next i have to copy this card class paste here and before this copy this wrapper class and paste here and type maximum width 300 pixel so our card width will never exceed from 300 pixel next type here background color which is white and padding 40 pixel from top and bottom and 40 pixel from right and left so here you can see a padding inside our cards next type here margin 30 pixel for top and bottom and 15 pixel for right and left border radius 10 pixel so you can see our card corners are rounded a little bit and next we have to create 
a beautiful shadow for our card to do this i will use two values for our box shadow property so type here box shadow which you can use to display a shadow around your element and next you have to type these values to get the same results 10 pixel three time minus one pixel and rgba 10 99 169 and 0.16 so friends here you can see a beautiful shadow around our cards next we have to type here comma because i told you that we are going to use two box shadow values so type here three pixel three pixel 10 pixel and minus one pixel rgba 255 255 three times and the opacity would be 0.7 so friends here you can see that a beautiful shadow has applied on our cards next copy this s3 element paste here and before this copy and paste these two classes type here margin 15 pixel not margin 50 pixel but margin bottom 15 pixel so here you can see a margin from the bottom of this intro text similarly copy this h1 element paste here and before this copy these copy and paste these two classes here i have to type margin bottom 10 pixel color rgba 0 3 times and 1 so this is the color code for black and change the font size to 2.5 rem so now i have to zoom out my screen a little bit next copy this pen element which is inside this h1 element paste here and before this copy this hierarchy and paste here here type font size 12 pixel and color copy this color code and paste here and change the opacity to 0.7 so now you can see that our forward slash month text is smaller next copy this p element paste here and before this copy these two classes and paste them here type margin 20 pixel for top and bottom and zero pixel for right and left so here you can see a margin of 20 pixel from top and bottom and next type here color copy this color code paste here and change the opacity to 0.6 next type here font size 14 pixel and line height 1.5 to add a space between these two lines of our paragraph we have used line height property next to remove these dots copy this ul element which is an unordered list paste here and before this copy and paste these two classes type here list style none so you can see that the dots are removed next copy these words paste them here and type here list item line height 3 so friends you can see a space between our these list items next type here color i will copy this color code and paste here and change the opacity to 0.9 so you can see the output next copy this i element paste here and before this copy these hierarchy and paste here and type margin right 10 pixel to create a sp space between this text and this icon and similarly type here color copy this color code paste here and change the opacity to 0.4 so friends you can see the output next we have to design our this choose plan button to do this open your html file and copy this a element and paste here and before this make sure to copy and paste these two classes so here i have to type some properties the first property is margin 20 pixel and zero text align center and display block text decoration none to remove this underline from this text and border one pixel solid type this color code so you can see a purple border here next we have to type here color copy this color code and paste here padding 15 pixel from all sides and font weight bold and transition 0.4 second this property means we are going to add some hover effect on this button so when user will hover on this button then it will change 0.4 seconds to change its style so next we have to add the hover effect on these buttons to add the hover effect copy these lines paste them here and type colon hover inside this i just to type here background color copy this color code paste here so now you can see that our background color will look like this next type here color white and next we have to type here border radius 5 pixel but cut this property from here and paste here so friends 
now you can see that our this button will look like this so we have made our two cards let me open in a big screen next i have to copy these two divs and paste them here next this is our most popular package so we have to display this in a different design to do this i have to assign an active class to my third class copy this class and paste here at this position after this wrapper and card class copy these two classes and paste them here and type here dot so here you can see that between these two classes i have not any empty space because card dot active class means that we have an active class with card class but we will add a space here it means that this active class exists inside somewhere in your card class so make sure to do not add any space between these two classes and type here background color i will choose this color code and transform scale 1 and 1 1.09 so friends you can see that we have a background color of purple around our this card and its size is a little bit bigger because we have used this transform property here i will make a comment here like for active class similarly copy this all style and paste here and here i have to type for h3 remove these two properties copy this white color code and type here color and paste this color code here and change the opacity to one so friends now you can see that our word intro will look like this next we have to give style to our this price of our plan to do this copy this h1 element uh, we don't need to copy this simply copy this complete style and paste this before after your h1 element style and here we have to change this h3 element to h1 and this remaining properties will remain same so now you can see that our pricing word is look like this similarly copy these words paste them here and here we have to type a span element and change its opacity to 0 0.6 or 0 0.9 so the word month will look like this next we have to change the color of this paragraph to do this again copy them paste here and from here i have to remove these two words and change its opacity to one and here we have to type a p element now our white color will be applied to our this paragraph next we have to change the color of these list items to do this simply copy this and paste this here after this list item style and remove this p element and type here list item and change just change their opacity to 0 0.9 so friends you can see that our these texts will look like this next again copy this paste them here and type here i element it means that we are going to give style to these icons so you can see that their color is changed and we have to change their opacity to 0 0.8 to just create a little bit difference between these words and this icon and next we have to design our this button to do this copy this paste here and remove this list item and i element and type here a type here a background color which would be white and color for color type this color code 0 3 time and the opacity would be 0 0.8 so you can see that our button is look like this next we have to do one thing just copy this and paste here and type here a colon over remove these two properties and just type here border one pixel solid white so friends you can see that on hover our this third button will look like this let me zoom in my screen a little bit so friends i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe our youtube channel with your those friends who want to learn web designing see you in the next video and finally thanks for watching and friends before saying you thanks for watching we just have to change this content of our cards so friends here you can see that i have just changed the prices in my cards and this title text which is base intro popular and premium so friends now finally thanks for watching.